All right, Ken, have you seen Detroit Threat Management Center? No. <laughs> You're in for a wild ride, baby. <laughs> I feel like I really am. This guy's got the stone cold stairway. He's got a gun <laughs> right in his chest. I mean, it's better. Let's just watch it. It's beautiful. Sure. Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're going to share with you right now what to do if a striker fired weapon is pinning against your chest, against the wall, and a criminal is holding you at bay. And the reason why they're doing this is because this is how they search you for weapons, how they're going to take things from you, also how they're going to harm you uh, physically, keep you from running or pulling out a weapon, is by getting close and pinning you to a wall or to a car. In this case, it's striker fired, so there's no hammer in the back. So the first thing we're gonna do, since we can't move out of the way, we can't move offline. And if I were to try to move this, as soon as he saw my hand move, he's gonna fire. Right, you're dead. Don't even try it. This video has 123 million views. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that means people can... will try this, for sure. Look, I can see why it's got so many views. Look at those gloves. Look at that haircut. Yeah, yeah, this, this guy, guy is got- serious. He's got the fashion down, man. All right, have, let's uh, check so how he does it. we have to make this weapon not fire. And give an example of the human reaction time. When he sees me move, he's going to fire. <laughs> so Whoa! The, it didn't move, the slide didn't slide. It's because I inhibited it by pushing it to the rear. From that... Do you see that? Guns are useless, kid. Wait. It was so <laughs> fast that you couldn't even see it. Are you, you cannot tell me that was not the coolest thing you've ever seen, Ken. So... <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to poke holes in this or anything. Obviously, no, this, this you man can't, is a master. You can't. Yes, yes. But go ahead and try. I got a lot of things to say about this. But the first thing is, <laughs> did he just hit it with some some Metal Gear Solid CQC? Like you know, big boss just freaking takes your gun apart and gives it back to you, like in the game. Ow. Ow. Huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I don't know how many <laughs> opportunities you get to like fake out your shooter so they shoot and then they're not expecting the grab like that but probably not very often the no, third thing it, i want to know yeah is did he did he grab it after the trigger was pulled and the slide was already back because if that's oh, the case right he's already then been he, shot and he just grabbed the top of the gun <laughs> we'll never know i mean you're just gonna have, you're just gonna have to try it yourself and then you'll then you'll know okay <laughs> Okay. That was fast, though. We did this video where, like, how to survive these different situations. I can't believe I we didn't do this one first. It's oh, so no, good. Man. It's beautiful. But w watch this then, how he disarms the gun. Didn't slide is because I inhibited it by pushing it to the rear. From that, from there, what we do is push the barrel back towards the aggressor, and now you have the weapon. He just slides out of his hand. Where's he dipped his hand in grease? <laughs> how do you? How do you so yes, easily just? And now you have the weapon. <laughs> and if you don't want to shoot. Then you just pin them down to the ground using the, their finger and taking them under control. Using their finger? Sorry, I need a little bit more information in there, Chief. Okay. So... <laughs> no, 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 wait. We have a ton of these to watch. We don't have to overanalyze it. Them? Okay, 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 go ahead. <laughs> what kind of limped wrist assailant do we have here? Yes, that's like... what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got my finger stuck in the trigger and now you're pointing it at me. <laughs> I guess, I, guess I'll die now. But Ken, there's uh, a there's an explanation to this if I can find it, which is this. Yeah, here we go. Much stronger than me, he is not. He is not going to let go unless he has to. Correct. Right. Yep. We're going to come here, grab our fist, comes right out. The hand is not meant to hold things very well. You hear that, Ken? You want to hear that again? We're going to come here, grab our fist, comes right out. The hand is not meant to hold things very well. There you go. That's your answer. That's why it fell off. It's the hand. The hand that's been evolved. <laughs> Literally with the function. <laughs> it's not meant God, to hold no. things. I can't, I can't hold anything. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I feel like you deliver anything by walking towards the camera with that smile and pointing. You will, you'll have to accept it as true. Well, I'm just glad he found the fingers to his gloves. That's that's what really matters. Oh, with here. with the yeah, <laughs> because the hands aren't meant to hold very well. He needs that texture from the gloves yeah. on the fingertips. I, mean, I guess to be, I mean to be fair, the way the guy was holding his hand, if you were trying to push down, then yeah, you couldn't get away from him. But he pulled it up. Ah, mm. see the thigh. Smart. I'm getting. Uh, I'm picking up the science. These, yeah, these are some good tips. These yeah. Good. All right. Well, let's keep watching. I mean, what do we got? Man in the car. If the gun is to the rear of your head, 
pin here to the column, drive away. It'll peel out. <laughs> well, I mean, you win some, you lose some. What a, what, it's not going to work every time, obviously. My favorite part about this whole thing is that it all depends on if the guy with the gun has watched too many movies and gets, like, right in your face with his long-range <laughs> weapon. Like, yeah, I can touch you with it. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do now? Use your hands? Ugh. It's like John Wick. What a great movie, but, man, those guys just ran straight at him every time to get beat down. Bro, just shoot. If you are victimized by a carjacking, we're going to share with you some intelligent options. Victimized. If it's here in the window, head forward. You're offline. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is like a meme review. This guy's blown up. It's so funny. Oh. How hard is it to shoot a guy? It can't be that hard. I know cops no. miss all the time, right? But I get it. Like, if you're undercover, you're getting shot at and you're trying to just shoot back. Yeah, you're going to miss. But if you're the one with the gun trying to shoot somebody, it ain't it not. It's not hard. Yeah, I, th I think at least as someone who's never fired a gun. <laughs> in my life, I, th I played enough. I think, video, I think video, in video. real world scenarios, what he's trying to show us is like these perfect setups. If you have a guy that just intends to do you harm, then, yeah, you're screwed. But if you got a guy that doesn't actually intend to shoot you and is just trying to scare you to get what you want, then maybe, yeah, yeah maybe that's a good point. You can elbow now, pin oh. the gun and peel out. So you endorse these videos, Ken? Is that what you're saying? Oh, this is this is great. This is absolutely nice. Fantastic advice. Uh, he also sells uh, some merch. We're gonna share with you how you can use this keychain. <laughs> Felix, that we sell Felix, 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 stop! Away. Stop! <laughs> he did not. What do you What do you mean? <laughs> what is that? He's, what is that he's got? What is that it? is a self defense device, and that's exactly how you hold it too. A self-defense... Look at these guns in the background. Good God. Oh, yeah. I've seen those in a few places, but they're <laughs> definitely not... That's what I'm so. saying. <laughs> Look, they, they pinned this one. My mom has the same weapon in her nightstand. <laughs> probably to feel safe when she sleeps. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> they pinned it. Oh. I, don't know, I don't know if they're self-aware and kind of oblivious. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it's also mm. the way they demonstrate using it. Like, they make it seem like it's a, I don't know, a nuclear bomb or some I don't know how powerful it is. The bones of the hand. Very painful. Very painful. You take the point Dab yourself. To the arm. Very painful. Very painful. You can also use the blunt side here on the hand as well. The blunt Very side. Painful. Very painful. Right here. Very painful. What? If the person's walking <laughs> in your space, you can actually take the front of it, go right into the chest. Back them off, use the what point the or the blunt side. Take your hand here and press it right on the nose. If they grab you... What does that do? What does that do? That doesn't... You... Bear hug. You can actually take it. You don't have to use the point. You can actually use the side of it. Go right here at the top. And it'll back them off. <laughs> if you give your family or friends a hard time and aggressing on them, take your take your uh, keychain, go right here to the shoulder, once pull he, down. Once he stab the dude? I want to... <laughs> This device can help protect you and your family. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Just like if you subscribe, you could win a million dollars. Yes, that's it. The could thing is the best legal coverage. I love it. I mean, it could. It could. You don't know. He did everything but stab the dude. <laughs> yeah, I feel like anyone holding this is just going to stab them in the eye or some shit. I don't know. It's like, let me use the blunt side to squish your hand. I mean, I was, I was with it until that one. That one was a little. Yeah. That one was a little out there, yeah. Okay, this one is great because he doesn't do anything. I mean, oh, why? No. Just why? Uh, How? Wow! <laughs> How? How? <laughs> he just turned around. I feel like someone that has an assault rifle kind of maybe knows what they're doing. At least I'd like to think that. Maybe. I don't know if I... This reminds me... Oh, what is it called? Have you ever seen the clip? It's like a, uh, a martial arts master. And yeah. He doesn't actually do anything but like move his arms a little bit. And like all the guys coming after him just like fall on the ground. It's like a uh, demonstration. Piece of chi? What is this? 
They're making fun of the guys, but then it shows it. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, that his defense. chakra! His chakra is so strong! <laughs> Damn! That is awesome! <laughs> oh! Whoa! Oh, break him off! Break him off! <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Oh! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh, we gotta watch more of these. But another time. Let's check this guy out. <laughs> How did he fall over from that? You just push their face, man, you know? They're big brain individuals, they lose their balance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much density up there. Any any movement will make them fall over. Come on! Amazing. They also have this one uh, to demonstrate with a female, and it's just uh... okay. <laughs> what was that? I feel like maybe don't teach women to do that. I grab right. him by the forehead, and he falls over like a toddler. <laughs> uh, I've seen my kids do the same move to each other. You know, just, like <laughs> one pushes one another side of the head, and he goes. <laughs> and she's just gonna lift her hand into the orbits. She's gonna pull the bone into the eye, orbits. Right the bones. Uh -huh. There's pain in here that she's gonna pull up and cause. There's shock. not <laughs> pain. There's not pain in there. The what do you mean? Down, the pain is causing his head to go up, lock up. You're better off just trying to poke him in the eyes, right? Oh, that poor guy. He's self-conscious about his hairline, and she's touching on it, and he's like, "No!" <laughs> <laughs> I have a few strands of hair left there. <laughs> Stop it! my baby hairs! Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of uh, kids' defense, they do have some. Let go of Yeah, got him! Detroit Urban Survival Training. That's <laughs> <laughs> so cute. He's like smirking. He's like, that's adorable. Anyway, Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was, even his watch has it. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, that's branding on point, dude. They should start a fashion line, I, I love it. Uh, he does like to talk about his uh, watches. There's another video here. I, found, I don't know, I just thought it was funny. He doesn't say anything. Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're gonna answer a question we received from the internet. It's about our watches. In this case, my super watch. And now, I don't use that square one I had before. That's a great watch, it's a 4G watch. It is an underwater watch that has uh, sound, video, and it's actually a telephone. It's a great watch. Oh, wow. He broke the band. So now he broke the band. I, I use this great watch. This is a great watch. This is a Casio Rangeman. This is actually a solar powered watch. And if you get this, it gives you navigation, lots of uh, tools. This is a great watch. <laughs> so if you're looking for a great watch, this is one right here. Oh, well, cool. So, is it, what is what about? Is it? Is that hashtag ad? What is that? No, I think he just wanted to. He bought a new watch and he wanted to show everyone what the watch was. Huh. It's so cute. It's kind of sweet. I don't know why. Yeah, he looked, it is. I mean, just don't it, tell him that most of those apps work through your phone and that. Hey. <laughs> not cool. Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. I love this mustache too. Yeah, he's a beautiful man. He looks like an adult child. Anyway, I gotta give him props because, you know, clearly a lot of people will clown on this dude. I think for probably good reasons. I think it's good to maybe that acknowledge that, you know, maybe don't necessarily try this. If it was more for entertainment, I would be more on board, you know? But he does embrace the meme and it's kind of funny, actually. Give me everything you got. No, 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 no! What? <laughs> They did the training. It just so bro. He did not move in front of the gun. Bro, what are Detroit, you doing here? Detroit training. He messed up. It's all on him. Bro. <laughs> what is he doing in heaven? <laughs> it's all on him. <laughs> Imagine dying and getting shamed from the self-defense guy. Here's Parallel Universe Twin or something. Now, I like if, if you really think about the story, the guy got shot, went to heaven. <laughs> And then that same guy with the gun went to the, the Detroit man. He got shot also, <laughs> trying to do the same move. And here he is. <laughs> but he messed up. Yeah, oh, you just showed me how to do it. They must have killed no, you. No, no, no. That will get you killed. What he just did will get you killed. 
I'm just visiting. I'm not actually here with him. I'm just, I'm just helping. Oh, they addressed it. Hey, they addressed it. Oh, you gonna do what we see? Whoa, 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 whoa! Relax, relax. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? What the story you continues. The trader must involve trading. They skip their training, and that's what happens. That'll get you killed. Always come to trading. Here he go. <laughs> How much does the training cost? I gotta know. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably gonna be too much. Do you remember the guy that like, like the chef dude that like did the little salt sprinkle thing on his elbow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he open a restaurant was charging he people did. like a ridiculous Yeah, prices? crazy amount of money, yes. <laughs> just so, just so they can take a photo with him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my God. That's pretty smart. I don't, I don't know for sure, but I, I read something like the possibility that he wouldn't even like pay in the employees that well. Like he's like making all this money off of his meme and he's like, eh. Yeah, I mean. Eh. I'll come out, make an appearance, give him some little elbow, elbow salt, you know? Hey, look, it's the guy from the meme and here we are. You can take a selfie yeah. now. <laughs> he monetized selfies. It's pretty smart, actually. I get it. Ah. He's, like, he's on top of the curb. You gonna start doing that? No. I actually had an <laughs> idea of, of the opposite. You know how I don't do they, photos? Oh, you pay them to go away? What? No, yeah, I give them, you know, because people want something out of the experience. But I don't want to take a selfie with them. So my idea was to give them this business card to show that I, they met me. And on the back of it, there's an NFT. They get rich <laughs> from meeting me. You're welcome. Oh, you become like, oh, like a, like a, a Pokemon. Everybody's got to come, come yeah. hunt you down and get their, yeah. get their NFTs. No, no, no. But there's a password. You need to know the password anyway. That's... Uh, I thought he was gonna hand him a business like a card. Like no, no, th and I'm not do don't do selfies. And yeah, but it, if, it says you tried. Sorry. You you tried. <laughs> That's pretty good actually. And there's two versions. There's one that gives you money, and the other one just says I try to get a selfie with PewDiePie and fail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many are there? there? Three different ways. There's a million. Baseball bat. What he did was he blocked using his forearms. Here, so I couldn't extend, which caused the weapon to come out of my hands. One. That's true. It does fly out of your hands like that. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've played baseball before. It happens. You know, you you hit the ball, and all of a sudden you just let it go, and it goes to the stands. Hit three people, and their child. It's part of it. They should have went to training. Yeah, and you know why? Because the hand is not meant to hold things <laughs> very well. <laughs> That's Detroit threat management. Thank you, Kev, for joining on this Thank survival. Thank you for life. having me. This this was now, this is a treat. Now we will live. Our survival training continues. Subscribe and you could survive forever and win billion. Today's your birthday, happy birthday. I want to send some love to today's sponsor, NordVPN. When I was in Italy, I tried to stream, but my internet was so bad, it barely functioned. So they graciously sent me a, a Starlink, which worked amazingly. And finally, I had internet. Long story short, love NordVPN. Everyone should use a VPN. Let me explain to you why. If you're browsing on someone else's Wi-Fi or network, which I know you do all the time, you need to use a VPN to protect yourself and your data. Your ISP can see everything that you're doing. Everything. They can see everything. Unless you use NordVPN, of course. NordVPN has a strict no logs policy. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's super easy to use on your phone or your computer. Bada bing, bada boom, you're in. One click. It's super fast. I personally have been loving using NordVPN recently because I've been showing Marcia these old Swedish TV shows that obviously you have to be in Sweden to watch. Bada bing, bada boom, you're NordVPN, one click, and I'm in. I'm in Sweden watching Mysteriet på Greveholm. <laughs> And if you sign up using the link in the description, make sure you use the link. There's no code. NordVPN.com slash PewDiePie. And that way you get a huge discount on a two-year plan plus one additional free month. You're welcome. They also have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're not sure about a VPN or how it works or what the purpose is, you can try it out for free for 30 days and get your money back 100% guarantee. Uh, they've just been a great sponsor and I'm very happy with them. So it's a great service. It's a win-win. Check it out. Um, with the video.